on today's episode of The Game Chasers. It's the bag full of targets. Chillin'. Uh, this is the place where we found the little Samson. Yeah, I peed myself. <laughs> hey, what's in there? Somebody in a little golf cart comes up. People say, hey, what are you doing with that camera? What's going on and stuff? Guess what? It happens today. Why don't you like my hair? It's just... You're... I don't know. You're jealous of my hair! I'm not jealous of You are hair. jealous of my hair! You look like... Like a planet of ape or something. <laughs> I like it long. What are you gonna do? I mean, I'm not gonna do anything, because ultimately, at the end of the day, I don't care enough, but... You care enough to say bro. something about it? Our adventures today brought us to Denton, Texas, so we're gonna stop by Freaks and Geeks. That's the uh, local video game store here in Denton. Freaks and Geeks is definitely one of my favorite one or two game stores slash toy stores in our area. They changed the layout quite a bit since we've last filmed here. Um, there's just way more stuff now. So it's not like a lot of the stores you go to and it's just you see the same crap up on the shelves that aren't selling day after day. Uh, they're always getting a new wide variety of awesome things and oh yeah i like it i like freaks and geeks i gotta be honest i came in here not really expecting to buy much but i'm seeing something here that i've never seen before and it's absolutely amazing and my video game wiener is just gyrating like what like what would you think my holy grail would be it's gotta be something good if he's getting this excited though, right? Panic restaurant, bubble bubble two. Nah, how about... The Munsters and Atari ST. <laughs> okay. That's legit. The Munsters on Atari ST. The Munsters is probably one of the, the more random games to be licensed. I mean, it's pretty cool. How much is it? I don't know. Billy is a huge Monsters fan. I think he has to have it. All right, what are we looking at? Monsters. So not only do I love the Atari ST, and I'm always looking to find games for that system, I never knew a game existed involving the Monsters. Oh, it's only 40 bucks. Yeah, I'm good. Dog meat. If there was a game from a TV show that I liked back in the day, um, let's say like uh, The Fall Guy, I'd get pretty excited about that. So I understand Billy's excitement here. That's awesome. That's amazing, in fact. There are monsters that go around in everyday society not realizing that they're monsters. How could you not find that hilarious? How could you not think that's the cutest thing in the entire world? They're, they're lovably stupid. Kind of like us. The episodes of the monsters that stand out in my mind are usually when when Herman is doing sh he shouldn't be doing like uh, golfing. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do my monsters impression. Sitting down. You guys won't mind your step. Sure. I mean, we got. I don't know exactly what we got. Whenever we are here shooting or not. He's always like, hey, let's go take a look at the back room, see all my overstock. So we're gonna go take a look. Let's go. Jealous? Not really. The back room here is packed full of stuff. There's, there's literally stuff everywhere. It's hard to walk, it's hard to navigate back here, which is perfect. We love this. You know what that is? Yes, yeah, the Castle of Lions. Do you even Voltron, bro? Yeah, I Voltron. You didn't know. That's not. That's not fucking Voltron, isn't it? That's um, Thundercats or Voltron. I don't fucking know. It's fucking Voltron, dude. Ain't that the symbol? You spill 
the dog's water. What's <laughs> even going on here? I don't think I've dropped anything. I don't remember dropping anything. Kingsley, come here. No. Settle a debate. What's up, man? What I, is that? I don't. I, that's Voltron. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you Idiot. said Voltron? I must have said Thundercats. I was trolling. Positive about that. It's Voltron. I know it's Voltron. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of legit, actually. Okay, so there's something I'm seeing here that I want. It's not a video game, though. I think I need to... Are you in on this? Uh, no, I picked it up for you. Okay. I think I'm in on this. Look, it's a Super Bowl shuffle record. Low 45, what are you gonna do? I like that kind of thing. 80s, nostalgia. Come to a game store and buy a record. Yeah. I'm kinda wondering what the Star Trek one is. You're always gonna come here and see new and exciting and different things. Oh, sh oh my God! Look, you give us access to the back room. That's access to the back room. <laughs> Boom! Mega Man on the IBM. It's on floppy disk. And so, look, this is not a game that I would actually be able to play or want to even try to play because I don't want to have to hook up another computer. I already got an Atari ST hooked up, uh, Commodore 64, Atari 400. Look, the point is, I'll probably never get around to playing it, but it's Mega Man and I love the Mega Man series and I would just like to own it for, for novelty's sake. I mean, it's in pretty bad shape. So I would imagine it's cheap. Computer. 30 on that? This is probably gonna be a no-go for me. I'm not gonna spend $30 on a novelty. Okay, no, no, I put it back. I'll go, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. of course. A ton of stuff back here. A ton of games, a ton of toys, a ton of ton. Should we open it and risk everything falling out? Hold the phone, we've got a bag of Atari games here. It's time to dig in. Holy crap, just a bag full of Atari games, just chilling. There's nothing quite like a big, giant, heaping bowl of Atari games that's in a bag and not a bowl. Well, they're sitting here chilling. They're, they're not being intended, or they're not being used for their intended purpose. So digging in this bag, I've come across a game that's holy crap. Holy sh I'm on a roll, that's Grandpa Munster right there. Midnight Mutants. Midnight Mutants. Who's that? I gotta ask on that one too. What's special about this game? Well, it has Grandpa Monster on it. Uh, again, Billy and his monsters obsession. Yeah, it's got Grandpa Monster on the front of it, and that's not the reason why I want it. It actually looks pretty fun, and I, I'm, I've got a thing for collecting horror games as it is, so you put Grandpa Monster on a horror game for a system that I don't have a lot of games for to begin with, the Atari 7800, and you got a recipe for I know I have to have it. It's pretty cool though. Not gonna lie, it's actually pretty cool. 30 on midnight units. Okay. You can leave them there in case I... Cool. I have my friend. All right, awesome. About $25 more than I would like to pay. I'm gonna put it on the maybe pile, not the definite pile. I never run across it until now. But 30 bucks for a 7800 game. I'm trying to... I'm trying to wrap my head around that. Please fall, please fall, please fall, please fall, please fall, please fall, please fall. Please fall. Please fall. Get it! Holy What'd you just I never in a million years thought I'd ever come across this. What'd you just I'd never in a million years thought I'd ever come across this. Is that what you're looking at? The <laughs> Wii 3. The Wii 3. What, what's the Wii 3? <laughs> Here, grab this, grab this. <laughs> Jack off. That's actually kind of cool to have it in the box though. Look at that. It's, a, it's an Atari storage case. It's a, like, you would put games on the in, in it on the bottom. The, the system would sit on top and you just, you know, you play. It's basically like a, storage storage case i'm gonna be a player on that i want to know what's, what he wants for it look first of all if you find these things loose they're usually not complete there's there's pieces missing you know always something's wrong with them but this is brand new in the box never been opened a whole bunch of learning crap yeah f that Shh. damn Shh. the party fell hey what's in there what's in this box 
What? Well, hey, well, here, hold that, put that somewhere. Maybe pile. Jay, you see this? Kingsley. Kingsley. Go yourself. I said it's cool. What? Put a guy on here and go up to things, but. Dirty doors. Atari holiday gift. You know what I like about this place? It's not just you go to a random, you know, you go to a store and you see the, the same stuff over. Right. You come in here and you see things you've never seen before. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, I've Season's never seen greetings it. from Atari. Uh, I love crap like this. It's not just like regular NES games that you see every time. We got a whole bunch of 3DO and CDI games here and I'm gonna dig right in. Okay, that just looks amazing. I don't have a large 3DO collection, so I'm always looking to add to it on the super cheap. And the cheapest game I see here for $7 is Stella 7 Draxon's Revenge, or Draxon's Revenge, I don't know how you say it. Uh, but yeah, it looks like your typical 90s polygon 3D shooter. They, it was pretty typical in those days that you'd see a lot of. I'm the funky Is this for sure? You're getting that? Yeah. And you're getting the monsters thing? Yeah. Are we getting all three of these? No, just okay. the monsters. Yeah. Okay. So those two. Are you keeping it? What do you have on that? No, you can throw me an armor, man. I mean, don't do that. You're my friend and I respect you, so I don't want to. So, like, I mean, I'm thinking about $2,000. So I'm going to start with like 10. Uh, okay. <laughs> make, it, make it 30. 20. 20 is fine. 20, done. I need this. I don't need, do we need any of this? No, but. right? If I leave this store without getting Midnight Mutants, I'm gonna be thinking to myself, damn, I should have got Midnight Mutants. Would you be willing to do the, do 20 on Midnight Mutants? What did I have it at, 30? Yeah, at 30. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. You just right. have to have that, don't you? Dude, it's gonna fall No, I, I know what's on it. Monster time. Of course I knew he was gonna freaking want it, of course. It's monsters, of course. Yeah, I has got to have it. Yeah, it's 90. Do you want that warlock game? Do you want the lizard on it? Just try making it an even hundred? Yeah, basically. Yeah. You just 10 on that to make yeah. it an even hundred. Yeah, why we'll not? Do that. We're at $90. That was an Atari ST game. Bill is looking at that. It was 12 bucks. So this game, Warlock on Atari ST. I don't know anything about it, but and really the only reason I'm going to throw it down on this pile is because it's $12. We can get it down to 10. And if I can get a boxed Atari ST game for $10, nine times out of 10, I'm going to do it. I don't know if that's an actual statistic, but generally speaking, I'll get it. Wait, man, f you. I should have got muscles. All right, that's grab, fine. Grab like one or two muscles. Oh, grab one or two muscles. I like this guy. The... I've been here for a while. Freaks and Geeks never disappoints. The, the stuff we got was definitely unusual. Might even say uncommon, honestly. Um, you don't see a lot of the stuff we got every day. I can't wait to go home and play the Monsters. I think I'll be Herman. Yeah? You wanna see my Herman impression? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Lily! Lily! Uh. Stupid. Yeah. So, Wood Hawker from Beat em Ups is in town. And he wants to see a big Texas flea market. So we're gonna take him to one of the biggest we got. I haven't done many flea markets in Texas and walking into this one, it looks huge. This is this is kind of one of our, I'm not gonna say one of our go-tos, but in the, why are you focusing on my crotch? What the hell? And I don't know how many times we've actually been here and shot for the show of uh, probably five to six, seven times maybe. Uh, this is the place where we found the little Samson. Uh, this is the place where we, I don't know what else happened here. We come here a lot, though. Anything good? I mean, silent service. 
the pickings are slim, but you can still get lucky, and that's thing, you can get lucky anywhere at any time. It's just not the way it used to be. You used to be able to find a ton of stuff here. You can't anymore. Eight out of 10 sellers here who have video games are, are resellers. That's what they specialize in. So Stupid J uh, really loves to just kind of just take off. I don't give a shit about used shoes and clothes and Happy Meal toys, that's why. And since we obviously don't have a show to shoot and it doesn't matter if we're all together, um, I, that's okay. So at this point, I have no idea where Jay is. Jay's walked around the entire market, gone home, and he's already masturbating eating Taco Bell. Yeah, average about 20. I just love the boxes. Like, they're the coolest things for the game room. Billy and I spot this awesome looking atomic pinball box, which I'm assuming the actual pinball machine is inside as well. Kind of a cool little item here. It's not real pinball, but... Um, I guess it's, it's, it's a, yeah. How much is this? That one's 10. I'll get it for 10. I think, yeah, I think I'd do 10. You don't have what, 10. Why is your hand coming over to this right now? You don't have the 10. You don't have the 10. You don't have anything either. I love stuff like this. And a lot of these retro looking, looking boxes scream very American to me. And I, I love picking stuff like this up. Uh, yeah, I don't have any cash. Are you serious? <laughs> How much do you have? Hey, um, would you do five by chance? I can do eight. Okay, I'll do eight. Thank you. <laughs> you want a bag? Yeah, I also might need some money. <laughs> this is a new low. Yeah, this is a new low. You gotta borrow money from the cameraman, right? Wood's a freeloader. Wood never has any money. Why is Wood sucking everyone's dick to get in these videos? <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. I apparently just run with the cheapest, brokest motherfuckers on the face of the planet. Not surprised, I'm used to it. Billy and Melvor, all the time. 1990. 1990, the year I was born. This thing's as old as I am. What's what? Can I see it? I, well, I mean, you didn't see it the first time. I guess you can see it now. <laughs> oh, I don't have room for it anyways. It's fine. It's fine, not bad, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Wood found a stupid little tabletop pinball machine. Big deal. Big, big deal. It's not a big deal. Now we're talking, kinda. <laughs> Ken Griffey Slugfest on the N64. I've I haven't played a whole lot of baseball games in my life, but Ken Griffey Jr., the series, I absolutely love. When we worked at Blockbuster, there was a lot of things we did we shouldn't have done. Um, like, well, wrestled inside the store, uh, let friends inside the store after it was closed to wrestle. Uh, another thing we did was we would hook up video games where the VCR would be hooked up and you could see it on the big screens, like on all the screens in the store. And we would play Home Run Derby after we closed when we were supposed to be closing the store up and straightening up the store and whatnot, we play Home Run Derby. Yeah, I got a lot of memories with that game. <laughs> Would you do a dollar on this since it's a crappy sports game? Yeah. Nice. Crappy sports game, one buck. <laughs> do one of y'all want this? <laughs> I just bought a game <laughs> yesterday. I have one? It's <laughs> five bucks. <laughs> But yeah, we need to buy it for five bucks. Uh, there's a GameCube here um, that this lady is selling for five dollars. Five dollars. Now, I don't know if it works. You gotta take it. Just give it to her. I don't even know why I asked. I bought a GameCube the day before. I don't know why I care. I saw a loose GameCube. I asked how much she wanted for it, and she said five bucks. And I kind of looked at everyone else, and I put myself in this awkward position of like, you can't not buy a GameCube for five bucks, but I don't need a GameCube. Why did I even ask about the GameCube? But everyone looked at me like, well, you gotta buy that now. And of course, I still don't have money on me, so Melville gives me another five fucking dollars. And I walk away with another GameCube and owing more people money for things that I don't need. Welcome to retro game collecting, where we all just buy shit we don't need and leave it around our house. Okay. <laughs> That's going good. Okay, so we're filming. All of a sudden, 
somebody in a little golf cart comes up and says, hey, what are you guys doing? Whenever there's trouble, um, it comes directly to me first because I'm the one that's carrying the big honking camera, okay? So I'm the one that they start interrogating, that people say, hey, what are you doing with that camera? What's going on and stuff? Guess what? It happens today. <laughs>
Good God. And the more this stuff comes down, the more antsy I'm getting because I'm not seeing anything that really wows me. Okay, there's some back here. Matter of fact, I see a lot back here. I'm searching everything high and low. I'm looking in boxes, I'm looking underneath boxes, underneath cabinets, underneath shelves, in cabinets. Uh oh. I need some hands. Here. <laughs> There's 300 video games. Go get them. Like it's a Where's Waldo of video games. You know it's there somewhere, you just gotta get them. The Addams Family on Super Nintendo. I loved this game growing up. I rented it actually a couple of times. Uh, I can't remember if it's a great game. No, it's, it's actually pretty good. No, I'm kidding. It's good. Uh, I like it. Now, unfortunately, uh, the label looks like it's been on the surface of the sun. It's like the fifth one of these I've seen. Yeah, right? There we go. Oh. One of the games pulled out of this glass case was Deep Duck Trouble, starring Donald Duck. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Uh, it's basically a side-scrolling platformer. It's a good. I mean, that's a good portion of what I remember her having. Yeah. Well, I primarily, did, yeah. I've gone through everything back here. Okay, so we have three tubs of games, three big tubs of games here. She keeps telling us there's more back here, but I think we've been through everything. Literally everything at this point. There can't be any more games back here. Did you pee yourself back there? Or? Yeah, I peed myself. <laughs> I'll take it out of context. I'm 37, not three. This lady doesn't know what she has, doesn't care what she has, isn't trying to be in the video game business anymore. She doesn't want to sell video games anymore. It's nice. I'm a dog. That's cool. Here's the unfortunate thing. Not everything is hers. It's only about half hers, half the guys next door. What do you think? I know we figuratively say collecting dust. This stuff was literally collecting dust. It was back there, not ever going to be sold. Who knows when? Maybe never. You say 300. Just the stuff that I'm seeing, there's just not a lot of value here. There just really is not. I think it tops 200. Absolute tops. I think it have to be, yeah. It's a bunch of common stuff, that's the thing. It's a bunch of sports games on here. From what we've seen in here, and we haven't dug, it just seems to be scraps. It, it seems to be, you know, the little the little Samsons are gone, the chubby cherubs are gone, the the anything super high dollars probably gone at this point. We want it to be worth our time, but we also want it to be worth their time. So we don't want to rip them off and say a hundred bucks, which I think Billy actually did say at one point. <laughs> but at the same time, we don't want to rip ourselves off. That's the last price. <laughs> I'm not even listening to what's being said because it's just so boring. And they just go on and on and on. <laughs> that's between y'all. That's, that's, that's between y'all. Oh, I ain't got no problem. It will. Believe me. Okay. I don't think you have Do a choice. It. Maybe more than we wanted to pay, but definitely less than they, they wanted to make. But then again, from another perspective, they made $200 on stuff that they weren't trying to sell. There's no telling how long that stuff would have been sitting back there. That was like pulling teeth, is what I think. And I don't know if that's worth 225, but... It's a gamble. It's a gamble. I think in the end, we were reminded once again the way game chasing go. <laughs> oh! You attend to Ah! <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna find anything. The day before we found a little bit and that was cool because it's getting so hard to find video games these days. But to walk into this place and find all of these games at the same place where years ago they found little Samson, I don't know. It was a good day for me. Gather around, it's Christmas time. Three sexual robots in, in your mama's void. Mm. Cowboys butts. <laughs> We're friends now, right? There's, there's, there's no choice. We both got massages together, and now it's time for the happy ending. I don't got nothing for that. <laughs> <laughs>
a while ago, a long time ago, where I bought a ton of games, a bunch of games with a friend, and we had to draft it out between us. And I know how long it takes to do something like that. And with the amount of stuff we have, we're gonna be here for a while sorting through all this shit. I don't care about sports games. I don't care about sports games. Hey, Shorty Pie Tool, Morphin well, Kanawa. What? Honestly, I don't think I picked first on anything except for. Oh, bullshit. You what pick first, pick first on most, on mostly everything. If you um, just get you because we're like, okay, go ahead, then that's kind of picking first. Well, is that, has that happened? Yeah, it oh. just happened with the GameCube. Oh, I apologize. Wait, no, it didn't. Yeah, it did. You guys all picked, and then I like, got the fucking Disney game out of your pile. Yeah, I gave it to you. After you'd separated it. Well, pick! I don't care. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm pick. so mad about it. There's a lot of common stuff. There's some uncommon stuff. But there's nothing hugely sought after in this lot. Do I want Lion King or do I want uh, Aladdin? Hmm. Combat, sweet. It's like my favorite, favorite Atari game. This is exactly what happens. This is, and and and, and this is the stuff that when it's edited all fancy and the music and the the kind of cuts to the interview footage, it looks interesting and stuff. But it's so freaking dull in real life, and people don't realize that. The magic of editing. We all walked away with some, you know, decent, decent uncommon stuff, uh, depending on the console. But like that Wolf Child, and then like a forty dollar game or fifty dollar game or something like that. Literally going home with a trash bag full of f***ing video games. I said it's cool. No one cared that I was filming with a phone. Like I was literally filming them telling us that we can't film. There was another point later, oh, this is gonna be irrelevant, but there was another point later where I was filming us all getting massages and the same guy that told us not to film was looking right in my camera with a shit eating grin like, <laughs> he didn't give a f If it's a phone, no one cares, but when it's a big camera with a big dead cat on it, apparently people feel uncomfortable. Sniffing this mannequin ass. <laughs>